Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're exploring Mullion. Oh, Ron. Yeah. <laughs> In our walk today we start by parking up at the church, head out to the coast to Polyrium Beach passing the hotel up on the clifftop, joining the southwest coast path to bring us here to Mullion Harbour. Our walk today is taken from five walks around Mullion. We're following Polyrian Cove to Mullion Cove and it's three miles. Mullion is on the west coast of the Lizard Peninsula. We've parked here, this is a Tremeni car park. It's a nice big car park, close to the centre of Mullion and there's an honesty box. So our walk starts here in the car park. We turn right, go past the fire station and pick up the flounder lane. Come on. Come on. Yeah. For anybody that watched our cover up video, you'll have discovered I like echiums. And what about this? It's a monumental hedge of echiums. Wow. I don't know any echium related puns, but I can tell you a tall story. <laughs> down the lane you get to the Flauda Thatch, beautiful renovated property these days, used to be three and the lighthouse keeper Sam Mundy used to live here. Oh there's a lighthouse in Mullion? Yeah, where? That's my next question, we're going to have to look for that. This walk takes us to Mullion so that is one thing I want to find out when we get there but we're going to head down now towards Polurian. But tells us that the route we're now following down to Polurian Cove is the route that the lighthouse keeper used to take all those years ago to go and light the lantern. Isn't that a lovely thought of following in his footsteps? Brilliant! One of my favourite walks this, you always get such a sense of oldie worldiness. And the buildings aren't, all of them aren't, exquisitely done out some are. Yeah. You just get the odd one that is held in time. So autumn is fully underway at the moment, but it has been really dry still and sunny. So we're hoping that this path won't be as muddy as we have experienced in the winter. We did discuss it, we opted for normal walking shoes rather than boots. Let's hope we were okay. First view of the sea! Yay! So down there is Polurian Cove. And there is no way, if you watch any of our videos, you will know I will have to go down on that beach. There's no way I can pass it without going down there. Is that because of the ice cream shop? Uh, no. There is no <laughs> ice cream shop, is there? No. And no pasty shop. It is a remote beach. Walking briskly. <laughs> yeah, he would have needed to take a light with him to do a swap, wouldn't he? Yeah. There's no street lights or anything, is there? What would have happened so if his flame blew? He carried a light down here, and then he would light it, and then carry it all the way back again. Yeah. If it was windy, wouldn't it, wouldn't it go out? Possibly. You'd have to run back home again and relight it again. Yeah. Come on, stay in forever. <laughs> wow, that's a lovely colour. Like that. Please? Yeah, look at this. Time. 
as we leave Plurian Cove here we're going to rejoin our walk up towards Plurian Hotel. So that's Pelurian Beach. Yeah. And this is Pelurian Hotel, isn't it? We're just going to walk by. Makes you think, doesn't it? Well. What came first? The beach or the hotel? <laughs> it's like a chicken and egg thing, isn't it? <laughs> no? No. So this is the Pelurian Hotel. We're just going to nip in and have a look for the tennis court. There's a story. I didn't bring my racket. There's a fourth finger post. Ain't walking there. <laughs> so the Pelurian that you see today isn't the original building. We actually stood on the site of the original building. The original hotel opened in 1890 and one of the first on the Lizards. You can see the old hotel's terraces and steps on the seaward side of the tennis court. The first buildings burnt down in May 1909. So the fire left an indelible mark on the village and there's a story here, it says Chambermaid Carrie Tonkin trapped upstairs, clumb to the windowsill, hanging to the guttering, crying for help and no one heard. The fire burned through the woodwork support, she plunged to the ground and she spent six months in her little mullion cottage recovering from her injuries. Sand was laid in the street to muffle the sound of passing horses and carts so that she could recover in peace. That's sweet. Oh. Well, she got a job back. <laughs> that isn't my first thought. It's, oh, she must have been in so much pain. Oh, bless her. So we're now going to pick up the southwest coast path and carry on towards Mullion. And there's an interesting story here about two lost houses due to your favourite subject, Andrew, coastal erosion. Come on. You're making match be a bit weird. all that remains Sarah, two properties which are right on the cliff top here which have um, as you can see now tumbled into the sea. Oh I think you can see the rubble, look at that, down in the valley. Gosh that's all that's left of the houses. So these went in in the early 1960s, the properties were built in the 1920s and the story is that one of the houses here, a couple had moved down from London the December before, so within a year they'd moved in and the house had succumbed to coastal erosion. Wow. Which begs the question, Sarah, have you seen these beautiful houses behind us? I oh, know. Mmm. <laughs> Clock's ticking. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Did you feel vindicated about your worries? What? Coastal erosion. It's a thing, I'm telling you. You've got to be careful. You know, if coastal erosion doesn't get you in Cornwall, then raid on will. Yeah, probably true. <laughs> Thinking of uh, maybe doing some merch, Sarah? Yeah. Get some t-shirts done? Yeah. With slogans? Right. So I could have, if you like coastal erosion and graveyards, then follow <laughs> Cornish walking trails. It's not very snappy, is it? No? No. I have to come up with something better than that. Get lost <laughs> with Cornish walking trails. Oh. Yeah, that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Must go out here. We're going to get some fabulous views, I reckon. Love Rock. Yeah. Right, it's on that one. Cape Diddy Boy. Just. It's spectacular though, isn't it? Yeah, boy. Please, your photos today. Yeah, I think there's some really inspiring ones there, capturing Cornwall in its autumn glory. I think it's brilliant. And we'll now insert a photo. 
here. <laughs> Mullion Cove Hotel here, Sarah, was built in the early 1900s and it's had its fair share of famous guests over the years. So Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, oh, yeah. it's Queen Mother, she stayed here, Cary Grant and Enid Blyton. Wow, I wonder which rooms? I don't think they all stayed there at the same time though. <laughs> a really good party, wasn't it? It's a very impressive cannon. I like a nice cannon. <laughs> So this cannon here, Sarah, when they were building the harbour wall, they actually found this cannon on the seabed and they obviously decided to rescue it and bring it up here. What a fantastic spot it's in as well. But nobody knows which ship it came off or whether it was ever fired in anger. But apparently there's more cannons on the seabed out there that they never ever recovered. So I've scrambled through the Hawthorne and got as far out as I'm comfortable to go and I've got this fabulous view looking back at Mullion Harbour. So at the beginning of the walk we mentioned Sam Mundy and his little traips all the way down from La Flounder, oh, I keep saying Flounder Cottage, I'm really annoyed with myself today because of course that's aerial and under the sea, La Flounder Cottage and he walked all the way that we've just shown you to this point in Mullion Harbour and I want to know where the lighthouse was. From the details in the book it says the north side, the north arm of the harbour, now I'm pretty sure that's the one closest to us. And that building at the end with the flagpole on, I think that was the old lighthouse. I'll have to go down and have a look. Fishermen used to run their boats up the beach, hauling them clear of the sea with the communal winch in the picturesque winch house at the head of the slip. The two stone piers were built in 1887 to 1895, financed by Lord Robarts of Lanhydrock as an act of benevolence to help his tenants after the failure of the pilchard fishery. The final house that you come to here on the harbour wall is called The Retreat and Harold Wilson, who was an ex-British Prime Minister, once stayed here. What is distracting this dog? Is he not looking at the view? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Ice cream in the middle of October. It's so warm here, isn't it? That's right, isn't it? It's lovely. It's handsome. He keeps looking up at you. Thank you, Daddy. I enjoyed that, Daddy. It's lovely, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. Oh, it's nice, Daddy. Mm. Got another one, Daddy. I'll eat no more. Yeah. It's the middle of October and that sun, the heat, you can feel it coming off the water. It's almost blinding because it's in the sky and it's reflecting. Beautiful. And the colour of the granite today. It's just that honey colour. I love the granite down here. You've got the contrast, that deep black rock in the cliff side. So we're here at Mullion Cove. Yeah. Where was the lighthouse? I know where the lighthouse was. You do? Yeah, didn't we show you? Yeah, Come with share. me. Come along here. We'll go right out to the end of the breakwater. Oh, is it the building on the end? It's on the roof of this building here, Sarah, right on the end of the uh, breakwater. if he um, used these steps to get up on top of the roof and that's where he's meant to have lit the gas light is it? Serious bit of iron work up there now. There is isn't there? It's best done in all weathers then. Every day? Yeah. Wow. Captain fit isn't it? Yeah.
How many years we've been coming down to Mullion Harbour? I never knew there was a lighthouse down here at one point. It's a tiny little building as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You see, we had a lighthouse here, though, isn't it? It's yeah. It's a very, very dangerous stretch of the coastline here, isn't it? Those rocks out there are serious, aren't they? Serious business. It's not your traditional lighthouse, though. I wouldn't have known. No. Great. So he was called Samuel Monday, was that right? Yeah. Well, he shared the duties of uh, putting a light up there on that roof. Who with? Well, he did it on a Monday. Yeah. Yeah, Terry Tuesday did it on Tuesdays. William Wednesday did it on Wednesdays. <laughs> uh, and now he's run out of THs for Thursday. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tarquin. <laughs> Ta Tarquin Thursday. <laughs> and Freddy Friday. Freddy Friday, yeah. Have you ever been to Mullion and wondered why there's a stream gushing into the harbour? There was actually three mills here at one point and that really is the only evidence of them that survive. We're going to head away from Mullion Harbour now. I'm really enthralled that we found out about the lighthouse. And then we're going to cut back up across fields, going back towards Mullion. Remember I mentioned the three mills yeah. on the harbour? Yeah. What have we got here? It says Mill Cottage, doesn't it? It does. So I would suggest it might have been a mill. <laughs> mill Cottage. <laughs> Do you know uh, as well that in Cornish, so Mullion Cove, it's actually called Porth Mellon. Oh. And that is Mill Cove. Fourth meaning beach or cove yeah. in Cornish. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but. That's what the cafe's called as well, though, isn't oh, it? Oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. Too busy buying my ice cream. That has to win cutest cottage prize, though, doesn't it? Beautiful. So, a confession. We didn't read all of the instructions before we left home. Uh. <laughs> We just read the instructions, sir. Yeah, and it says it's going to be very muddy. And we decided not to use walking boots today. Aren't we idiots? I've got my nice shoes on. Well, it's been dry, we'll be fine. What if it's not? <laughs> we'll just get muddy, they wipe off. <laughs> Goodbye, clean shoes. It's been nice knowing you whilst you've been clean. I blame your demise on Sarah. What? Nothing, I was talking to my shoes. We're at the S-Bend that it mentioned, so we're looking for a footpath. There's a footpath sign up there. Oh yeah. There's one on the left. So about five years before granite post. Yay, it works. This is the muddy bit. There's kind of stuff in stone here. So far so good. That was all fairly easy. Got away with no muddy shoes. Just crossed this field, aiming for the fir trees. Follow the road up through the village back to the church. Hello. Aren't you handsome, Minute? Oh, look at you. Hello. You gonna say hello? You're worried about the fence, aren't you, sweetheart? Oh. Hello. Hello, baby. Oh, aren't you gorgeous? It's shut, is it? Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. There's two very interesting things I wanted to show you in there. One of those interesting things we should be able to see from the outside, shouldn't we? I think it's possibly over there. What's the story? <laughs> it's a door. Yeah. Yeah, well let me show you the door and I can tell you about it. Right. Have you found your door? Uh, it's not that door. It's tiny, isn't it? No, it's not definitely not that one. Keep coming. A 
Andrew, we've just done the circuit of the church, darling. Another door over there. Oh, there's another one. door. Ah, it's just gone. We are looking for this. What's that? It's a dog. And what's that? It's a door. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Right, a dog, dog door. door. Yeah. What for? Apparently they had a dog door here. Yeah. So many years ago, if people were going in and wanting to pray, and they took a dog in with them, if the dog was too noisy, they would kick it out through the dog flap in the dog door. <laughs> what do you reckon about that then, boy? Would you go out through the dog door? Is that? I found it. You found a dog door? That's where you were a minute ago. Where? It's the main entrance door. Right back here again? Yeah, look, look down there. Oh, there is a flap in the dog. Oh, that is hilarious. There's a door with a flap in it for your dog. Your unruly dog got kicked out of church. <laughs> a door within a door. That's funny. Oh. That's barking mad. <laughs> it is. As long as you didn't come out and dig up the graveyard in front of Bone, you're all right, aren't you? <laughs> Can you imagine? I know, put that back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Have you found it now? You yeah. didn't dream it. <laughs> no, it tells me it says, Look for the dog door in the bottom of the south door out of which unruly dogs were shooed whilst their owners prayed. Love it. <laughs> well, I'm not very impressed, Daddy. I'm not that badly behaved. I would have been able to stay in church. You would have dug up the bones, though, yeah, wouldn't you? It was funny. Love digging. <laughs> Our walk today is taken from five walks around Mullion. We're following Pelurian Cove to Mullion Cove and it's three miles. And here's our map. Today we parked up near the church in Mullion itself, came down past the fire station and picked up the valley to Pelurian Cove, up past the hotel joining the southwest coast path towards Mullion Cove, down to the harbour, back across fields into Mullion again. So as the sun begins to set on our autumn day, Really enjoyed this little walk. It's been fabulous today, hasn't it? I think it's a three and a half mile walk, this one. Yes, and it's completely worked, hasn't it? I mean, the book is, is old, so you have to allow for that. It's 2007. Yeah. But the walk instructions worked. Yeah. The map was useful. The terrain was as described. We got away with it with our boots, didn't we? Yeah. And any, any book that tells you about a dog door deserves <laughs> a very high score. <laughs> Lots of information in it. So what are you going to give it? 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, I agree. 10 out of 10. Well done, book. Excellent walk. If you enjoyed our video today, then give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and please consider subscribing. <laughs> you were video bombed by a tractor. Noisy bugger. <laughs> so you may have noticed an increase in ads being inserted on videos in YouTube. We seem to be getting a lot of them. It's all done automatically. If you wanted to watch our videos ad-free, you can join us on Patreon. The details are in the description.